Alright, welcome to another unboxing. Um, today I have a really cool robot to show you guys um, from Meta Mata Lab Ed. Um, and this is a hands free, screen free uh, robot that you can code uh, 3 plus so you can bring this into preschools um, all the way up into elementary because there's so many different things that it can do. So we're going to unbox it and see what we got in here. So, so first off, we have at the start some cha a challenge booklet. So inside here, uh, I'm sure there's a series of, well, you can see it's very pictorial. And then it's a series of uh, little challenges to get the kids going with. Okay, and we'll have a look at some of these as we unbox further. So we have a challenge book. Then we have our template card. And this you can fold out and it's called plasticized and again it's you have a couple of different options here either I can incorporate it into storytelling I can code it or I can just play with it um, great for like free playstations in preschool right? you can see okay make the tailbot go from the hippos to the bunny or from the forest down to the tigers etc and then you have just some quadrants on the back too that you can do anything with, right? So you have one through four, and then you have A through E that you can also use. So there's a little plain template that we can look at. Now, these cards, this card is the one it shows what languages it can talk in. So you can actually change the language from English, French, German, uh, Spanish, Chinese, and even Russian. Okay, so it has a multitude of languages that it can speak, um, and you just are going to teach it. So you can pre-program all of this, and you can also pre-program how far it goes with one touch of the forward button. All right, so you can go 10 centimeters, or you can do 15 centimeters, so it goes a little bit further. Right, so that's your kind of language bot and very easy to program to change the languages, what we'll get to. And then you have here your user guide. All right, and again, it's in all those different languages. You can see that it's very picture based. Um, but the tailbot can do a lot of different things. So we'll, we'll leave this page out as we kind of look at tailbot. Okay, so here we have our little robot. Uh, very cute. Um, again, charges with a USB that comes inside the box. Um, so we're going to, you know, kind of have a look at what you can do with it. Um, for one, we're going to turn it on. So once you have it charged, we just kind of hit the switch and it pops on. All right, a little blue light indicates. A little song appears. Now on the top, it's kind of interesting. This is similar to a B-Bot or the mice that we have, you have directional, so all the coding happens right on the unit itself. So I can program it to go forward, and as I'm programming it, turn right, go forward again, um, it indicates, it tells you how where you're at, how many pieces of code you have. A couple of different ones are, I can record it, so I can record a sound. Hey, what's up? Right, there it is. I've recorded it into it. So I have movement, turn, forward, and you can see that the colors correspond with and my little um, speech thing I just put in. This is to erase. So if I want to erase that one, I just hit on here and all these will erase. So the students really get an understanding of how many pieces of code they've put in. And then I can also have it repeat things. And this is kind of fun. It's a little dance one. Right? A lot of times these robots have like little celebrations and stuff, and this one has it too. All right, so once I've programmed it, I just hit the play button in the middle, and that will go forward one, turn, forward one. Well, there it said my little thing, and then it ends. All right, so really easy to program. Kids can get started with it pretty easily. Now, a couple of the cool things is these things come off on the sides, right? And it allows me to add some extensions on here. Let's, I'll just show you a couple of the extensions. Again, it 
makes the um, tailbot a little bit more um, fun for the user. So we have our USB charger in there. We have a couple of markers, which I'll show you for what in a minute. Plus we have all these other pieces. Now, these pieces are great because they fit on and they go with our big mega blocks. So kids can add things on to the tailbot as kind of side things or you could add other characters or whatever else you want. It is very compatible with our big Legos. You can see these turn as well. There's another one where it's hands. So I can put some arms on this tailbot and it could actually move things if I want. Right? It goes up and down. You can see there's a little hand there. Right? So I can have arms. I can put little wings on as well if I want, which are fun so that it kind of looks like it has arms to it. And then it has also just the standard cup. Now, where the markers fit in is you can get it to draw stuff. So say, for example, I would go and get my Mega Block ones. I have a marker and I just simply slide it in and then the tailbot will draw as it moves, which is really fun for the kids. And you can do that on this um, on this uh, uh, mat that I had because this is just removable, so it just erases away. So kids can have a lot of fun with this. Um, so it speaks, it moves in multiple directions. You can add extensions on the side. I can record my voice with it. I can add celebrations to it. Um, so quite a quite an interesting little robot here for our youngest learners, all screen free. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing and uh, go and check out these little um, robots here called the Tailbot.